in the River Valley says it will not enforce a long-time ordinance. The Atkins Police Department says it's received complaints about stalled-out cars and yards. Care Report's Stephanie Sharp is back from Atkins. And, Steph, what are people there saying about this? Well, Bob and Ashley, they have mixed feelings, of course. Some people say it's needed, while others say it can cost a lot to fix a broken car. I've been living here 40 years. Longtime Atkins homeowner Glenn Gillian down on his luck. Well, it didn't start first time around there. Dealing with dreadful car problems. <laughs> While he's trying to fix it himself. The Atkins Police Department is reminding people of the unsightly or unsanitary conditions city ordinance, specifically the inoperable motor vehicles issue. I've lived here 10 years and most of them been there 10 years. So a lot of them I think need to be moved. On Facebook, the city says it's received multiple complaints recently and will now start enforcing the ordinance. Nicholas Chapman understands why, especially when it comes to stalled out cars. Some of them do need to be off the yards. Some of them have been there for I don't know how long. According to the city ordinance, you can receive a fine of up to one grand. A couple warnings and a thousand dollars, I think that's fair. While the city says it plans on cracking down, Gillian says it can be costly to fix up cars. It's expensive, the mechanic work you have done on them. And he has old vehicles himself. I got some out there that don't run uh, out back. He's now trying to get his truck working so he doesn't get a warning. The ordinance reads, if you do get a warning, you have seven days to clean up your property. Back to you.